Hi, this is Dr. Serena Killam showing you a short video here on how to use Scrivener for thesis writing. In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can work with supervisor comments, especially if you have been um, compiling and exporting your work into Word because most supervisors are, are, are more comfortable with working with Microsoft Word. And then you've got to figure out, well, how am I going to bring in those supervisor comments and work with them again? So the first thing is um, to bring in the file. So we're going to uh, import that. Um, I want to import, and I don't want to split it at the moment, so I just want to import a file on my desktop, uh, chapter one, supervisor comments. So um, you can see here that it's brought it down into my researcher uh, research folder so that means it's not part of my thesis and if we click on it you can see here this is what um, the word document look like looks like so I've just used um, Lauren Ipsum text here which is just uh, nonsense Latin now um, if I click here I can see the comments from my supervisor this is just something I've made up so it says comment comment and over here it says important notes from supervisor what you can't see here is any track changes. Um, so this document did have track changes in it. They haven't shown up. All that shows up um, in the comments uh, is the comments or the footnotes. So um, one thing that I recommend, uh, especially um, at uh, uh, early stages, I guess, of your thesis writing, is that what you really want to be doing is looking at your supervisor comments as separate to your own work rather than using the Microsoft track changes function um, for the supervisor to make copy edits to the detail of your thesis. So copy editing is something that should happen really at the late stages, not at the early stages. And so you don't want to be mixing up your supervisor version with your own personal version. So I think you need to keep this imported um, Microsoft Word document separate to your own work. But you do need to be able to look at them together. So what we do here is use the split, pa split pane function. And so on one side here, I've got my chapter one super comment, supervisor comments. And then on the other side here, I want to go and have a look at my own chapter. So this here on the left hand side, this is my work. And then over here, this is what my supervisor has commented on that. And so I can choose to either keep it or I can choose to leave it depending on what their comment is. And I think this is the best way to work you do need to keep um, some record of what you've done um, in regards to the supervisor comments so I'll cover that in another video on how you can keep those records but um, what you could even do and and what I did here was I had a, a new folder that I just called supervisor comments and then I moved all those chapters and comments down into there so that I could have a look at them compared to my work. All right, I hope that helps.